Okay, so in this one we're going to talk about batteries, a couple different batteries, as well as the charger and how all of it hooks up. So on the screen, you'll notice that there's several different modes. There's a mode called balance charge, which we'll talk about when we're charging this battery right here, or other lipos that have more than one cell, um, which we'll talk about cell count here in a second as well. Um, then you have regular charge, which you doesn't use this extra lead right here. So that's what we'll actually use to charge these smaller ones because these are single cell batteries. Then we have fast charge, which is kind of just the same as some of the other ones, except it allows you to do it much faster. Um, generally, you, you won't use this feature very often. Store, um, this is something we'll talk about here shortly, but it's after you're done using batteries, you should always put them in store. It'll get the best life out of your batteries. And discharge, that is if you need to take power out of batteries. Um, store will, if the battery's higher voltage than, than what the store voltage is, which depending on the charger is usually 3.7 or 3.8 volts per cell. Um, if it's higher, it will discharge. This is if you're specifically looking to put it to a particular voltage um, I rarely ever use this feature. Some people might have a need for it, but just in case. So, um, so we're going to talk a little bit here about the balance charge feature. Um, the balance charge, this particular battery, um, has what's called the balance lead and the main lead on it right here. So, balance is this right here, which you'll see other lipos will have this and uh, um, uh, lithium and nitrogen and a couple others. Um, and then this right here will be your main charge lead right here, um, which I actually do not have the uh, charge cable out for this, but um, the way this would work is normally it would plug into the side here. You would have the charge piece that hook up to this, and then this would actually plug into your balance section of it. So we're just going to pretend like this is all hooked up. Um, so there's a couple different options here. Um, when you hit enter, it'll swap down into different sections. This is how much amperage you can put in. Now, when you look at the battery, the battery itself is a 7.4 volts, which as you can see, this is two cell. So this is a two cell battery. And then it's 1000 MA, which normally depending on the battery, you charge based either in 1C or 2C. Um, generally I charge this one in 1C. Um, basically for every 1000 is gonna be one amp generally so in this situation you would charge it on one amp um, and we just cycle through you can get to wherever you want to go from there um, you'll find that other batteries will be higher um, you know you'll have 2200 and things like that or like in this case when we talk a little bit about this this is 150 this would actually be 0.15 amps per thing but you notice you cannot do 0.15 you can do 0.1 but not 0.15 so, but this one also has what's called a max rate of 3C for charging. So, which means instead of doing this, you can do three times this number. So, this would be, you would be up to, what, 450? So, you can actually charge this battery at 4.5. Um, what will happen in situations like this, you'll have ch charge pieces like this, which allows you to hook up more than one battery at a time. So, like in this case, we'll just plug these in. Um, we can uh, put more than one. So the advantage you have is that you can actually charge at much higher rates. So which means you can combine all these together. So which means with these two batteries hooked up, that four point uh, four five a piece. So that would be point nine total. So as you keep adding more and more on here, you'll be able to get higher and higher, you know, amperage out. So um, this one, if you notice, because these are one cell batteries. Um, because they do not have a balance lead plus also they also tell you specifically they're one cell Let's see one s um and the problem you'll find in this was his balance charge there is no way to go down to one s which is why i told you you'd have to change charge mode and then we're going to go down to um we'll just do 0.7 just because i don't always charge the higher thing and you see now it's at one s so this would be what you'd want to charge at and then to start charging you hold the battery button, it'll say enter to confirm, and you see right here it'll tell you what the voltage is currently. When a full battery is normally going to be 4.2 approximately, uh, sometimes it'll cut off a little sooner, like if it finds out that it can't 
get any more power into the batteries. Um, this, this charger will detect that itself. Um, the other thing is when it's done, you'll hear it beep and da 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 da. When you're done flying with these batteries, they're going to be under the optimal voltage usually. So usually what you need to do in that situation, we're going to stop this. Um, you would go into store mode here and then it would have your amperage and things like that. And then you would normally just hold. And as I said, depending on the charger, the optimal voltage is either going to be either 3.7 or 3.8. Um, that's going to vary depending on charger. Um, I have one that does one and one that does 3.85, one that's 3.8 and one that's 3.72. I don't know why 72, but anyways. Um, so, um, but it's pretty much how most of this works. The big thing is make sure you're careful about the math. As I said, a lot of batteries, if it doesn't specifically state that it can charge at a higher rate, um, then you need to actually charge at what's considered 1S or, or, or not 1S, um, 1C. So this, as I said, this would be 1,000. Um, I'll show you a good example. Um, sorry, the room is a bit dirty. So like this one right here would be 3.7 amps or like the ones I fly on my, on my blackouts. Those right there are 2.25. So you can basically go through and, you know, depending on what it is. And you're gonna have different ones. Like these are, you see this one has multiple cables on it. Oops. So this is actually a 4S battery. Um, I have 2S and 3S and you got big old ones like this that are gonna have your 6S lead because you're gonna have the ground plus six other wires. So anyways, We'll talk a little bit more about batteries at some point, but just know that that's the basic functions of your charger. And as I said, to see it finished storing, yeah, yours stops at about 3.82. So anyways, we'll move on.